again to do anything on first downs as a problem early in the year. And it seemed like you fixed it, and today you didn't have much success. No, we didn't. You know, offensively, that was that was a poor for, poor performance. Um, couldn't block them, and you know, too much pressure on the passer. Third downs, couldn't convert third downs. Details of getting depth, you know, when coming up a little short, and just um, you know, just a really poor performance offensively. And you give them credit; they played very hard, and they were better than we were today. Uh, you know, it, we'll look at the tape, but you know, it, it, you know, this goes on everybody. This goes on. You know, we have to do a better job as coaches to put them in a position to to be successful. Um, but I thought they, you know, they won the line of scrimmage today. Jeff, how did you, did you feel that the preparation going into the game was? Uh... Yeah, I mean, preparation was was good and. You know, the focus was good. And, um, you know, knew going in that they had a great defense. They, you know, they've been playing great defense all year. And, um, you know, we knew that the run game, we were needed to try to stay patient with the run game because they are real physical and they do a great job. And But we, we, we really couldn't get in a lot of manageable situations. And when we did, we didn't convert the first downs. Uh, but the week, the week was fine as far as, you know, preparation. You mentioned the run game. You had one in the fourth quarter, a fourth and one, and uh, a run by UC up the middle that really looked like I had no chance. What other alternatives were you considering on that in that situation? We needed a yard. And... You know we have to we have to come off and we have to block and give the back a chance and he had no chance really. You know we had a we had a short yard, it wasn't even a full yard I didn't think and so you know it was at the point of the game where you, you got to make sure that you continue to try to keep the drive alive. And uh, you know we got we got beat up front and they hit us in the backfield. How surprising is this just in the context of the way you guys have played the last two weeks and ran the ball obviously a lot? It seemed like you had been building some momentum before today. Yeah, you know, I mean, those are the last two weeks. You know, coming into this team, this team's a, a different team. This team is very stout um, to run the ball against. And so, again, you have to give them credit. And, um, you know, we need to get better in, in order to be able to – to play against a group like that. And, um, you know, they, they did a good job, and we didn't. Didn't execute well enough and couldn't, couldn't get anything going in the run game. They threw, they threw the ball a lot in the early going. Did you expect them to throw that much? Well, they, they play action, you know, quite a bit. You know, they threw some quick passes, and, and you know, the play, one of the play actions got us. You know, I thought our defense played – pretty solid to keep the run game down because they lead with that. We let one big play get behind us on the play action pass. Um, but, you know, with as much as we're stacking the box to stop the run, you know, they, they threw it a couple times and, you know, but still I, I thought the defense played really well. T turning the football over twice, um, you know, was a killer. They got 14 points on that and, you know, Typically, they're going to be low-scoring games because they play great defense, and and you know, and our defense played well, but we turned the football over in situations that um, gave them short fields. You rotated players at the right guard position. Were you happy with what you got from Don McDowell, given that he's been out for a while? Well, we'll see. Um, you know, I thought initially, I thought Dom competed hard as he always does. We'll watch the tape. You know, I don't, I don't know play by play. You know how he did, but um, it was nice to get him back in there and, and you know, hopefully knock some rust off and he can create some depth for us in the offensive line now. This was obviously it's the big game, and, and you guys come out. I think it was 1998 last time you didn't score a touchdown. Was it? 
really frustrating not to play well in the big games, more so maybe than in any other game? Well, it's always, you know, when you don't score, it's always frustrating. We had an opportunity down deep and couldn't knock it in. And, uh, of course, it's frustrating. It was a very frustrating day offensively, without a doubt. And, uh, you know, so we got to go back to the drawing board. we got to do a good job as a coaching staff, and we have to execute. And, and you know, so it was, it was a frustrating day offensively when, I don't know, I think we punted eight times or something like that. It's, you know, it's, we just got to be able to make some more plays. And we couldn't really establish any flow. Didn't didn't feel like today. Definitely a hard team to come back on because of the way they can control the ball with their running game. Yeah, but I, I didn't think they. I don't know that they really controlled the ball with their run game. Maybe the last drive they did, but I thought our defense, you know, got off you know early in the run game. I, I didn't think they controlled it with the run game. I you know they made some some third down conversions in the pass game, but uh, you know the run game. I felt like we. We held them in check as much as you know you can hold them in check because they run the ball very well. So it, um, I thought our guys played hard up front on defense and and tackled pretty well. What was your approach, especially in the first half, on their uh, their tight ends? Looked like uh, you just had one one man assigned to Ertz. Was that? Uh... Well, you mix it up. I mean, it's not one thing. You know, you don't play one defense the whole game and. And it's really important that you stay disciplined with your eyes uh, when you play them on the tight ends because they, you have to have an extra guy, a body in there to stop the run. And you have to stay disciplined with your eyes. And we lost the tight end once. I didn't think the tight ends killed us. They got, you know, they made a couple catches. Uh, but that was a big play uh, that, that we let get, you know, we weren't disciplined with our eyes and we let them get behind us. So. Just got too over aggressive in the run. He was lined up in the backfield that play, right? And came out. Did he, nobody just picked him up or what? Right, we yeah, we blew the coverage. Yeah. Jeff, I realize you're focused more on your team, but how good is Stanford? I mean, you've seen enough teams this year to get a sense. And they seem like they run the ball, stop the run as well as almost anybody. Yeah, I mean it uh yeah, again, you have to give them their, – their defense is as good as any defense that we've played in this conference, you know, for years. They're, they're very experienced. They're very physical. Um, they're very multiple. And, you know, they, they do a great job. I mean, they – you know, we, we knew going in that it's going to be a, it's going to be a dog fight. But, you, you know, we got to be able to make our plays here or there. We knew they'd get theirs, but we, you know, from time to time, they're they're going to get you because they do, you know. But we just didn't have enough on our side to be able to keep the keep the ball moving, and um, you know, they're they're as good as any defense that we've played in this conference in in years. Jeff, can you talk about where you're at as a program, the big picture for this season? This was a game that looked like it was going to be important to kind of get you up to even 500. And now you got four left. Where are you at? Well, it's, you know, we have a big game next week, no doubt. Uh, each one is. And um, go on the road next week to play a tough Utah team. And, and uh, so you know, I have confidence that our team will come back to work and, and focus and prepare well. And, you know, it's one game at a time. You know, it's, it's, we can't take a look at the big picture. We've got to look at one game at a time and stay focused on that. Uh, I haven't talked to the doctor. Uh, looked like he had an ankle. Looked like he could put a little weight on it, so I'm not sure. I'll, I'll get the report from from the trainers. Uh, you know, CJ again was uh, he got hurt early with the shoulder, and then again with his knee, um, and then V came off there at the end. So I don't know the extent of those of those injuries as of right now. What about Scarlett? Did he aggravate? Scarlett, yeah, Scarlett and Jalen, um, Scarlett broke his hand again last week. So he had surgery on Wednesday. And um, so he wasn't available to play. And Jalen Jefferson wasn't able to play either because uh, last week he had, he had a concussion. And so um, he sat this week as well.
Is Scarlett done for the year? No, I don't think Scarlett's done for the year. Um, I think it's something that he can come back from. It's just a very tender thing. You know, a repeat break like that and a surgery midweek. You know, but uh, I think he'll be able to do like he did previous and cast it up and probably be able to play. And did that happen at Wazoo or during practice? It happened at Washington State at uh, in the second quarter. He didn't play in the second half at Washington State. Do you know what's in the wall was injured? I'm not sure. Any more questions? How about uh, uh, Jaleel? It looked like he wasn't uh, dressed today. He was dressed today. He played at the end. Yeah. He was dressed. Coach, as you uh, mentioned all the injuries, do you think a lack of a bye week is starting to toll on your players? Uh, you know, it, um, it is what it is, and we're not making any excuses. You know, this is football. It's a tough sport. We have our schedule to play, and we're not going to make any excuses about it. You know, we have a lot of tough kids. If we're going to play their hearts out, that's what we do. and. Yeah, I mean, now we've, we're into this thing eight weeks and, and we played a lot of physical football games. And so we're banged up, but that's, that's how it is. That's how football is. We're banged up and we're going to go back to work and we're going to, you know, we have to make sure in practice that we're smart with how we practice um, so that we let them recover. And, um, you know, I, I know they'll go out and lay it on the line each and every week. You know, no matter what it is, if, you know, there's going to be bangs and bruises and little things, it's just the way it is, you know. So um, we're not going to make any excuses about a bye week or the lack of. It's just, you know, we're going to cinch it up and play. Stephanie, can you still uh, achieve some of the goals you, you had for, the, for this season? Where are you with that? Of course, yeah. I mean, it's you – know, we're very disappointed about today. We didn't play well. It was a really poor showing. Offensively, very disappointed about it. And, you know, we're going to give our opponent credit, but we have another game next week, and there's still a lot to play for. And there always will be a lot to play for because it's a very prideful team.